Have mad scientists intentionally released a deadly disease into the world to reduce population? What do we know so far? As tens of millions of Chinese citizens crisscross the country for the annual Lunar New Year holiday, the busiest travel period of the year, the so-called 2019 novel coronavirus started infecting Chinese citizens. In Wuhan, the most populated city in central China, the first reported case of 2019 novel coronavirus emerged, and by December 31st, there were 27 suspected cases under investigation. Now, the city has been quarantined, with the airport and public transport shut down, as to prevent the further spreading of the virus. With a dense population of 19 million people, Wuhan has continued to be the primary location for subsequent reports of the coronavirus victims, and members of the Chinese state media have stated that they believe the Huanan Wholesale Seafood Market is where the disease first broke out due to the poor conditions in which a wide variety of livestock are sold for public consumption. Animals such as cats, dogs, porcupines, ducks, raccoons, gophers, deer, snakes, chickens, as well as a massive selection of sea animals. Additionally, a number of current patients had visited the seafood market in the previous days or weeks. Although the Chinese state media pushes the narrative that the virus came from an animal origin in the wholesale seafood market, there are no reported cases of animal victims, only human beings that have caught the coronavirus. And as Professor Zhang Nanshan states, it can be said it is affirmative that there is the phenomenon of human-to-human -human transmission. According to World Health Organization spokesman Tarek Jasarevic, an animal source seems the most likely primary source of this outbreak, with limited human-to-human -human transmission, contrary to Professor Zong's assessment of the virus. The following day, the World Health Organization Regional Director for the Western Pacific, Takishi Kaisai, seemed to reverse their previous position, stating, quote, there may now be sustained human-to-human -human transmission. With over 500 confirmed cases and 17 deaths, it's hard to argue that the virus cannot be transmitted between people. And with singular cases reported from nine other countries, Thailand, South Korea, Japan, Taiwan, the Philippines, Australia, Macau, Mexico, and even the United States, the spreading of the disease between people seems to be the most important factor to follow as a health professional. Symptoms of the new coronavirus include fever, cough, chest pains, infections of the nose, throat, or sinuses, and many of those infected have developed severe pneumonia. Some strains of this coronavirus, which is in the same family of the common cold, have evolved into more severe illnesses, like SARS, also known as Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, which killed at least 800 people from 2002 to 2003. When SARS infected people in southern China, the Chinese government initially tried to conceal the severity of the epidemic. However, in his first public remarks on the new coronavirus, President Jinping instructed government departments to promptly release information on the virus and deepen international cooperation. He also stated, quote, People's lives and health should be given top priority, and the spread of the outbreak should be resolutely curbed. However, some reports suggest that Chinese authorities were urging people not to talk to the media or spread news about the virus online because it would enhance paranoia that people aren't being properly informed. According to Nature.com, Laboratories in China and Thailand have sequenced the genomes of at least 19 strains found in infected people and have made them publicly available. And according to Trevor Bedford, an evolutionary geneticist, that's pretty remarkable work, given that it's been two weeks since the work began. Bedford also says that the most striking thing about the genetic sequences is how similar they are to one another, and the lack of genetic diversity suggests that the common ancestor of the strains hasn't mutated much. 
In an unbelievable discovery, the genome sequence of coronavirus variants can be found easily online. On Justia Patent's website, coronavirus was patented on November 20th of 2018 by the Peerbright Institute, a government-funded organization in Surrey, England, dedicated to the study of infectious diseases. And they've received funding from the European Union, the Royal Society, and last but not least, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. According to the Peerbright Institute's submitted patent, the coronavirus may be used as a vaccine for treating and or preventing diseases such as infectious bronchitis. The submission even includes an exact, detailed breakdown of a coronavirus variant's genome sequence, making it clear why the Chinese and Thai laboratories were able to sequence the genomes so quickly and effectively. So did the Peerbright Institute develop the new coronavirus to be discreetly deployed by some other international government agency? Or is that just crazy? Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Jing Shuang said, quote, We have shared with the World Health Organization the information on the genome sequence of the new coronaviruses as soon as possible. We will resolutely contain the spread of the epidemic. On January 22nd of 2020, the World Health Organization met behind closed doors in an emergency meeting to determine whether or not to declare a rare global public health emergency. They then held a briefing to address the 2019 novel coronavirus before the press, a briefing which they were two hours late in attending. They said they were split 50-50 on declaring a global health emergency and decided to meet again the next day to review more information. The World Health Organization Director General said the decision to declare an emergency is something he takes seriously and won't make a decision without all information. According to Dr. Maria Van Kerkhove, it can cause a range of diseases in individuals who are infected, from mild diseases all the way to severe diseases and death. That's quite a range. Their expert analysis also deducted that the virus is showing stability, meaning that they aren't seeing changes in the genome between infected people, which shows the virus is not mutating as previously reported. Apparently, older aged people and people with significant underlying health conditions are associated with deaths, of which there are 17 so far. Disease modeling experts from Imperial College London say the true figures of infected people in the city of Wuhan could be 4,000 or as high as 9,700 in the worst case scenario. So is the coronavirus a silent weapon for a quiet war? Or is the existence of the pure bright patent able to be explained away by the scientific world elite? As the disease spreads worldwide, only time will tell what the 2019 novel coronavirus has in store for mankind. This is Brian Wilson with InfoWars.com. Just during the break, I went and got a delicious cup, my second cup of the day. It's really strong. I shouldn't do this because all work and no play makes Jack a really aggressive boy and the coffee adds to it. But mm. Wake Up America coffee that everybody loves, highest rated from the Chiapas Mountains. It's beyond Mexican coffee, beyond Guatemalan coffee. It's the best coffee in the world. It's right on the border between the two countries in those rainforests. Hand selected. It's beyond organic. Wild crafted. Wake Up America coffee. People are blown away by how good it is. Same stuff sold in Whole Foods under another name for $30 for the same size container. Yes, folks. Folks. We've been selling it 10 years, never raised the price. 1995 for that big old bag. 99% reviews, 598 reviews, 4.9 stars on third party sites. Sign up for auto ship, additional 10% off. Get it auto delivered to you. So you don't forget to get it each month or every two months. You can click out to nine months whenever you want the new order coming in. 15 days up to nine months. Patriot blend, medium roast, only has a 98% out of 814 reviews. It's not as popular. <laughs> Anyways, it's all at InfoWarsStore.com.